originally our thought was that we would uh, simply use the, the, uh, the effects of, of the chemotherapy to rid the immune system of something we don't know, uh, we haven't been able to trigger or find, find the answer to, so we we're just going to eliminate the entire immune system, replace it de novo uh, with a new system that perhaps is not faulty and not going to re-cause the disease. Um, but we fully expected actually to see the disease come back since there's been a lot of uh, proof that this was genetic. Um, our hope was that we would be on the scene to watch the disease unravel and get the, the first signs of what causes MS uh, and that would lead us to uh, uncover an important clue that maybe lead to a treatment. Uh, and some of the results that we saw in patients, especially later on, many years after the transplant, not only did they not have any uh, new disease, in fact, many of them actually recovered function that we had not seen prior. So that led us to start thinking about the cells that we put in as maybe being a little bit more than just replacing the immune system. Uh, and since then, uh, a lot of research has uncovered that these cells are, in fact, uh, stem cells with many of the properties of stem cells, meaning they have the capability of becoming any cell in the body, uh, if so directed. And we certainly didn't direct them uh, outside the body to do so, but the body has a way of, uh, of making what it needs. The old definition of MS is recurrent events in time and space, meaning you have to have two discrete events separated by at least 30 days, affecting different parts of the nervous system, hence multiple sclerosis. We don't know who the, uh, the culprit is. Uh, we know it's the immune system. We don't know what aspect of the immune system. Uh, when you completely ablate the entire system, you're pretty sure you've got the guy and uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, and so we've got a lot of things that we have to answer here. Uh, first, as a treatment, I think it's viable. I think it's viable for a small group of patients who have declared themselves as a very aggressive, not amenable to control with usual therapies. And, uh, and to quote my own editorial that I wrote earlier this year, time is brain in MS, and if you miss the opportunity to control the disease early on, um, it, people will get disabled. And, and I don't think they'll, they'll recover from that. So in, in that group of patients, if we can identify them early enough and institute a definitive treatment, they're, they're going to do well. Um, why did they do well? That's another important question. We did more than just remove the inflammatory cells. Um, are the stem cells doing something else? Are they encouraging repair? I don't think that they're turning into brain cells. Mm -hmm. But I think they are capable of migrating to sites of inflammation, as we've seen with other cell, stem cell types. And, they're, and they can direct the body's own cells to go, hey, you know, clean up this mess, fix this. But nobody's had this kind of success before. We're the only study that I know of that reports zero inflammatory activity in 100% of patients going on eight plus years. There's, there's nothing like it.